Good morning, more elementary students and staff. We are here for our red carpet kickoff for I Love to Read Month. Woohoo! Red carpet readers. All right. Good morning, Miss Fusi. Good morning, Mr. Qual. You're looking very distinguished today. Thank you. You as well. Today is Friday, February 2nd, 2024. All right. Are you ready for our first joke? I'm ready. Ready? All right. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up? Why couldn't the bicycle stand up? I don't know, Miss Pussy, why? It was too tired. Too, too tired. tired. I have one for you. Okay. Why did Princess Elsa fall off her sled? Mm, how did, why, why? She let it go. Oh, she let, let it, it go. go. <laughs> All right. Woohoo. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be the next ones on The Voice, yep, I think, Mr. Qual. Here is the quote for the day. Someone's sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. That quote is by Warren Buffett. So planning ahead? Yes. What do you want to do in the future? Pays off for the yeah, future. All that hard work is like planting a tree. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, Miss Fusi. Yeah. Our red carpet readers, they're arriving. All right. Look at our staff. They're yeah. excited to kick off this month. There they are. Take Here a we look. go. Wow. Outstanding. Look glamorous, very distinguished. Yeah. Look at them. I love it. Yeah. I love I think it. Taylor Swift might be coming too. Well, I can't wait. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe Kels. Travis Kelsey yeah. will be there too. Yeah, right? that'd be great. Now we want to congratulate Mrs. Nelson's fourth grade class, Miss Anderson's fifth grade class. Mrs. Thor's fifth grade class, Mrs. Samuelson's kindergarten class for achieving the perfect attendance. Way to go, yeah. everyone, filling out your perfect attendance sheets. Keep up the great work. We want to mention other classes the next time. Yeah, nice job, classes. Excellent. We have some other surprises here. We're always looking for great attendance. We've sent some emails mm -hmm. to parents. I'm getting good responses there. We have some students that are showing exemplary attendance. Yes. This, we talk about a strive for 95%, mm -hmm. Miss Goosey. Mm -hmm. When I looked through that list, the list was so long, I had to kind of, yeah. I had to raise is the bar right? a little bit. Yeah. 98% is two absences or yeah. less. Do you know how many students we have? In Tell us. With 98% attendance or better. What is it? Almost 200 of our 800 wow. students wow. were absent two days or less. That's excellent. I think it's 189 or something nice. like that. Nice. So the list mm -hmm. is so long, we can't say it right now. Right. And we will announce it by uh, sending an email to the classroom teachers, mm -hmm. and then I will go around and hand out those certificates because guess what? All of those students that have been absent two days or mm -hmm. less will get a Dairy Queen Billy Bar. Wow, so I'll excellent. Go around and hand deliver those to the classes because the lists are too long. Yeah, to excellent. Good so news. Keep up the great work there. And now we want to announce our And now we want to announce our Katya winners for January. Achoo! <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Got a yeah. tickle there in my Yeah, nose. I guess so. <laughs> what are All we right. going to All right, here we go for the Katya winners. Cole Sorensen. Kindergarten, Vachelle's class. In Miss Wren's class, Willow Churchill. Miss Verdon's class, Caden Burke. And moving on to first grade in Miss Gamal's class, Charlie W. Nice it, job, Charlie Wisniewski. Yeah, right, thank you. <laughs> Miss Harrington's class, Ruby Renstrom. Miss Ryberg's, Christian Van Hale. And second grade class, Miss Halverson, Oa, Owen LaFortune. Miss Joy's class, Madeline Lee. Miss Erickson's class, Robbie Denzine. Miss Nelson's class, Levi Sorensen. And Miss Romporto's class, Ava Jensen. Moving on to fourth grade in Mrs. Nelson's class, Madeline Larson. In Mrs. Schultz's class, Bryson Tyler. Mrs. Anderson's fifth grade class, Kira Nelson. Mr. Nord Bell's fifth grade class, Gavin Flowers. Mrs. Thor's classroom, Savannah Ammerman. And moving on to sixth grade, we have Taylor Holly in Mrs. Lick's class and Macy Olson in Mr. Nelson's class. Great job. Congratulations, everyone. Uh, lost and found, look at that. It is overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Please take a look and see if any of those items are yours. 
we are going to box a lot of that up and ship it off to the local thrift stores. So take it, take a look now before it's gone. And now we're moving on to Mr. Tip for our Love to Read kickoff. Hello, Mustangs. February is fast approaching, and for us more elementary goers, that means one thing. I love to read month. This year, our theme is red carpet readers. So let's kick it off right. Coming up, one of the school's inter interventionists will stop by your room and explain what the month entails. And they'll psych everybody up. They'll also be dropping off some prizes and some letters to take home. One of those being a parent letter and a calendar for the I Love to Read month of February. This will give out info about the bookmark reading incentive, the drop everything and read times, as well as our planned dress up days. The bookmark incentive. Bookmarks will be sent home with a parent letter on February 2nd. This could mean an extra prize in your future. This should be done at home and when the month ends, you can bring the bookmark back to be entered into a drawing for book fair certificates or maybe other cool prizes. So be on the lookout for that. There will be a primary and a secondary box in the library here to drop off those when they're ready. Use your library time or your Kotcha ticket time to drop these off. The dress up days, you have to see your calendar, which if you have it, look at it. If you don't have it yet, you can look at it after this video. There are four dress up days. First, Thursday, February 8th, wear red, white, and yellow to kind of represent the red carpet and the shiny lights that the red carpet brings, okay? So wear red, white, and yellow. Thursday, February 15th, wear something with letters or words on it, okay? Unlike my suit, we don't have very many words on my suit here, but you should wear shirts or sweatshirts or anything that have words, sayings, sports teams maybe, something like that so we can read it. Thursday, February 22nd, dress up as your favorite book or movie character. Maybe we'll have Harry Potter in school that day, or maybe we'll have someone wearing a set of Garfield ears. You never know. That's the fun of it. And Friday, March 1st, is PJ Day. Okay, kind of a comfy day, wear your PJs. Next up is deer. And I don't mean the animal, I mean D-E-A-R. Drop everything and read. Every Tuesday of the month for I Love to Read month of February, Principal Qual will give an announcement reminder and each grade level and or class can decide what times and how long they want to drop everything and read. I'm getting excited already just thinking about it. Next up, we have Reading Buddies. If interested in pairing up with another class to form Reading Buddies, contact Mr. Wright. He's the guy to go for to help you with that. Also, prizes. Every child will get a free book at the end of the month, no matter how many minutes you read. These will be handed out during library time. There will also be other smaller token prizes, they're called, that teachers can give out as they wish. So maybe one of your students is have some downtime and they're quietly reading in the corner, have been for a certain amount of time. Hey, here's a small prize for you. Not keep up the good reading. That's an example, okay? Let's wrap it up here and talk about the movie prize, okay? Your grade level will choose a book or an author to focus on during I Love to Read Month. On the final day, your grade level will watch a movie together. You will already be in your PJs, so you'll be nice and comfy and popcorn is going to be provided. So, only one thing left to do, Mustangs. I Love to Read Month, Red Carpet Readers kicks off right now. Thank you, Mr. Tip. We're going to have a lot of fun with I Love to Read this month and the Red Carpet Readers. Make it a great day. Or not, the, the choice, choice is, is always yours. yours. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Mrs. Mantell's class. Thank you. I 